believe that worked. Yeah, well, we don't got time to celebrate. Come on. So, what's your plan, anyway? Plan? Plan not to get caught. Right. Now shut up and hurry up. Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, <laughs> but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you? Talking about. Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said. Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church, before it connects with the rest of the wagon train, very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. <sighs> Come on, then, you miserable bastards. How do you get wind of this, old man? We only been down here all of five minutes. Well, wow, you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing. I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? 
I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Now, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? <clears throat> Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> You know, boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. Okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Shit! Hey! Think I see something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! There's a whole lot of them back there. Well, nice going, Uncle. Most guarded wagon in goddamn history. How loud I know. Buster, come on. Slow down, sons of bitches. Kill that bastard. All right, fellas. Come on. Wait, you sons of bitches. <laughs> He's going. You're going to go. Do not let him get away. Where the hell? Dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh, get some rest. Oh. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit! Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn! Right out here. No, I ain't in there. Let's right just now. keep this right calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? Uh, uh, I... Why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell me what you heard. I don't... I don't maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. 
Ain't me. Better not be. All right. Coop forth. Low. Go check out the the barn. Uh, sir. <clears throat> The place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside. I'll go around the back. The place looks empty to me. The old guy. Ah! Looks like we're shooting our way out of here, fellas. Behind you, Charles! More on the right here! Where are they all coming from? Looks like Mr. Cornwall's got enough to secure it. We got more of the bastards on this side! Move, Bill! This fella really don't like getting robbed! Let's just hope we don't run out They were sick as from finding us anyway. Quick! Behind these rocks. 
Jesus. They're coming this way. Perfect. We need to do this quietly. You take the left and I'll take the right, okay? You're right or my Just... right? You see anything? Not yet. Get the hell off me! Made a meal out of that, didn't you? Ugh. This is a young man's game. Make your peace. You're dead. Uh oh, clearly those boys ain't as quiet as us. Guess we should go give them a hand. You need to shoot, Dad. Money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our backs. It was an yeah. honest mistake. Hey, leave it. Go on, get out of here. Every man split up. Go on, run quick. Good luck, Jens. Stay quiet and move. Yeah.
You there. Unless you want to be a victim of the old Driscoll gang, you get away from this camp. Go now. You don't want to run and race with a bullet. Don't waste your time on that yellow belly. Because if they did, they can get lost. I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really, laughed at, balderdash. What are you doing? Are you quite certain you're not a spy? A spy? 
Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it. What theories? I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere. Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Is Deborah McGinnis? Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <clears throat> Listen. If you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. Good day to you, sir! Come on, pal. We skip the small talk, eh?
boy. dead down there. Must have gone off the cliff. Yep. I think he's from that uh, cabin up the way there. Poor bastard. Well, uh, guess I'll tell the sheriff when I get to town. Homes. I didn't expect to run into no one out here. Mm. Funny how far a man's debts will follow him. You got some money for me, boy? I've seen your name in our legend. You're with the German? Look, I, I got it for you. It's just, I don't got it yet. It it's up in them hills. Mm. You panning for it? Hunting it. I tracked this cougar. It's rare. Lily white coat, the pelt are more and cover what I owe. If I'm skinning anything, I'm skinning you, boy. Please, I'm out of work. It's the only way you'll get paid, and all the hard work's already done. Fine. Move. Well, um, uh, need our horses? It's, um, Quite a trip. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Philly. All right, drive, boy. Let's get where we're going. Drive. Okay, follow me. Drive. I'm driving. Make me come out here, make me chase all over this goddamn mountain. Hey, you knew it was a risk. I didn't know nothing. Your name's all I knew. Well, the German-speaking fella then, Mr. Strauss, he knew my work situation was precarious, that this whole thing was a, a risky venture. Wait, risky? I mean, I at risk now? Are you threatening me, Winton Holmes? I ain't. No, certainly not. Sir, I'm, I'm merely stating a man without a job with limited prospects 
At those rates, repayment was by no means guaranteed. I said I'd do my best, and I did. You're continuing to annoy me. We're going right here, up the stream. Hey, how about this then? I guarantee we paint it. Cause I'm gonna get that money out of you. If I gotta squeeze you like a lemon, it's coming out. Yeah, of course. We're onto it now, okay? We're onto it now. The cash is in that cougar, mister. Sure as pumpkins ain't cauliflowers, the cash is in that cougar. It better be, or I'll turn you into a goddamn cauliflower. Up here, we ain't too far now. What I know about cats, this one's rare as hen's teeth. I mean, you ever seen an alabaster wildcat? The big thing about cougars is they see you, not the other way around. That may be, but you'd see this one. I've been hunting with my pa, shot all kinds of cats, never one like this. In another life, I'd have sought my fortune outdoors, not in the hot, stinking belly of a tar pit. I ain't interested in your regrets or your life story, Mr. Holmes. Just your damn money. Drive. Her den. We should leave the horses. All right. Show me. You'll see her soon. Quiet now. Won't be able to miss her shining in the dark. There's a cougar in here. And I bet she's white as virgin cotton. The tunnel diverges up here. I'll take the left, you go right, and we'll see if we don't converge down a ways. And look out for her. Yeah, yeah. What? Better be rare.
out of here. Horse, your man ain't coming. Trouble? Done. Thanks.
Stage company lockbox. We don't got the key. Mister, <coughs> help! Hey, shut up. Get out of here.
Act like you never saw this. Hey, hey! Isn't that... Mister, I don't hardly know what to say. Thanks, I guess. You've done me a service. Hey, look, the stage company's gonna write this off as a robbery anyway. If you can get in that lockbox, you can take what you want from it. It ain't stealing if it's already stolen. So I've been told. Now, boy. Arthur. Hey, you know something? When they was talking about hanging me, I just kept thinking of you. Oh, did you miss me? That's nice. No, precisely the opposite. I was taking even You know, these hides and furs can also be done up into coats and boots and such. Beyond my skills, but there's a trapper that travels around these parts, Canadian feller, a skilled tanner. He can make just about anything. You should drop in on that. Arthur Morgan, king among men. Hey, Arthur. What's going on? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. <sighs> Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. Why are you dressed as a sheriff?
There's my boy. Hey, Mama. Hey, I got some loan money. Put it in the box, Mr. Morgan. Will do. Hi there, Arthur. Mr. Strauss. Hey, Arthur! What you want? Oh, man, you one sour son of a bitch, ain't you? Only when I see you. Make up. 